Hey there, I'm Dr. Chris Nikolai, waterfowl scientist at Delta Waterfowl. Today we are diving into an interesting component of duck nesting called nest parasitism. Let's begin with a quick overview. Nest parasitism is a strategy in which birds lay their eggs in the nest of another bird. It can be rampant among specific species of birds and takes place more frequently when birds are forced to nest in close quarters and higher densities. When this occurs in ducks, the sneaky parasitic duck waits for the perfect moment for her host duck to leave, then slips into the nest and lays their egg. The host hen will incubate the eggs and raise them the best she can, even though some of them are not her own. It likely happens across all waterfowl species, but wood ducks and redheads are known for being particularly prolific parasites throughout North America. Beyond that, we've seen some cackling geese, brant, emperors, and white-fronted geese laying in other birds' nests, the common king and spectacle eiders laying their eggs in goose nests as well. Keep in mind that ducks only lay one egg per day, so having multiple parasitic eggs in a nest is a strategic and calculated act. Geese are similar in that respect in that they lay one egg every day and a half or so. When we're working in the field, it's not always simple to identify parasitic eggs in a nest, but we can generally classify nest parasitism as one of two types intraspecific parasitism, which takes place between two waterfowl of the same species, and interspecific parasitism, which is an exchange between different species, like our goose and eider example, or even redheads and canvasbacks. Interspecific parasitism is easier to identify because the appearance of the eggs can help signal that they were laid by a different species. For example, all eiders lay very green eggs whereas the geese that are nesting near them tend to have nearly white eggs. In trust specific parasitism, say a mallard laying an egg in another mallard's nest is nearly impossible to detect. We can think of inter and intrastate highways as a helpful analogy to tell the difference between the two types. Delta's current research roster includes work exploring nest parasitism. This involves research analyzing canvasback production in relation to predators parasitism in local landscapes, as well as working on ways to better identify the differences between the eggs of canvasbacks and redheads, which are likely culprits when it comes to nest parasitism. You can find more information on those research projects by checking out our annual research report published at deltawaterfowl.org.